Good morning. Um, today we're going to work on doing the opposite steps of what we did on Monday and Tuesday. So this skill is going from a percent to a fraction, fraction and then a decimal. And I want to remind you that we went from a decimal to a fraction. The fraction had to be over 100. And then how we turned it into a percent was just multiplying by 100 because we made those equivalent denominators over 100. So all we have to do is multiply. What's the inverse operation of multiply? Divide. So today, to go the opposite direction, we're going to be dividing by 100. So before we get going, if I'm dividing by 100, what direction does my decimal move? Left. My decimal's going to move left. And if I'm dividing by 100, how many places does it move? Two. One for 10 and one for a two, another one for a hundred. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn them into fractions, but then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna use that trick, that really easy trick, because all we need to do is divide by a hundred. Here we go, so if it's 45%, we said a percent is just that number over a hundred. Now we know how to write 45 hundredths, because we know our, our decimals. 0.45. Now here's the trick. So we were trying to get it to a fraction over 1 because we want a whole number. So 100 reduced to 1 would be dividing by 100. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my number out. Where is the decimal hiding? On the number. To divide, we're going to move the decimal left. And if we're doing it by 100, we have to go two place values. One, two. And sure enough, we ended up with 0.45. Alright, so move down to number five. This one's a little bit tougher, so how would I write 6% as a fraction? All right, 6 over 100, but I don't want it over 100. Well, we can go ahead and just, let's go ahead and answer this one. We can answer this one just because we know how to write decimals. 6 over 100 is 6 hundredths, tenths, hundredths. All right, so 6 hundredths, but we want a fraction over 1. We want a whole number. So what do I do? Divide by 100. If I do it to the bottom, I got to do it to the top. Where is the decimal hiding? Behind the number. If I'm dividing by 100, I need to move my decimal to place values and add a 0. And that's how we get our point zero six. So when you're going from a for, uh, percent to a decimal, what do we do? Divide by 100. When we're going from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. All right, let's try some harder ones because we know they're always going to get harder. How do I write this as a fraction? All right, 2, 6.4 over 100. You can even just think of this like we practice on our day one. Remember, a fraction is secretly 
a division problem. All right, numerator divided by denominator. All right, move the decimal place over. Last one for page 48, because I think you guys are going to do great with this one. Number 10, how do I write 0.09% as a fraction? Point zero 0.09 over 100, which is the same as saying point zero 0.09 divided by 100. Move your decimal one, two, and add your zeros. All right, so for Wednesday, April 22nd, you have one, two, three, four, five, six additional problems. These you're going to be able to do right off. You're going to see because it's going to automatically give you a whole number as a numerator. These you're going to need to go ahead and move your decimal and um, use your division by 100 trick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this lesson video under Wednesday as well, but you can finish up these practice problems for Thursday. So rewrite each percent as a number. This is the same skill, but these numbers are larger than a whole um, percent. They're bigger numbers. But it's the same strategy, exact same. So the first thing we're going to do is put our number over 100. And remember, it's just like saying this. So if I was to divide 100 by 100, I would get 1. All right, let's try a little bit harder one, number 4. How would I write this as a fraction? Which is the same as saying this. So how do I turn, how do I divide? What's my trick? Where's the decimal hiding? Behind the number. Which direction is it gonna go? left. How many places is it going to go left? Two. One. Two. One whole, a hundred percent, and seventeen hundredths, seventeen percent. All right. Now what happens when we get bigger numbers in here? Way bigger numbers. A thousand percent. It's still just a fraction over what number? What's my denominator whenever we're talking percents? Which is just a division problem. Where is your decimal hiding? Behind the number. Which direction is it going to go? Left. How many places is it going to move? Two. Which is just ten. No tens. No hundreds. We could have just used our zeros trick too, right? All right, last practice for today, and then you're going to complete two, three, five, seven, and eight, and ten on your own. Six practice problems. How do I write 1,111? Fraction is just a division problem.
Where is the decimal hiding? Which direction are we going to move it if we're dividing by 100? How many place values does it go? All right, so hopefully you're kind of seeing the pattern. I know, like I said, some of these are really tough. You probably won't be, you wouldn't out in the world probably have problems like this that you're working on. You'd have more problems like this and like the ones on the other page. Okay, so by the end of Thursday, where you should be, we're going to look at our checklist here. So completing your spiral review, and I'll add another video in there for that. Finishing Kumon 23, page 46 and page 47. Now you're working on Kumon 24, which is page 48 and 49. And then tomorrow for Friday, we're going to go over your spiral review. So we'll go over all the warm-ups that you completed throughout the week. You have two ERQ questions. And then you'll have an edge elastic assessment, which will be converting fractions to percents and decimals and decimals to fractions to percents, backwards and forwards. It's just going to have a few questions, but this is how I'll see that you're ready to move on for our next week, which is going to be the next process in the skill. All right, have a great afternoon, and when, if you have any questions, this will be a perfect thing to talk with me about during our Zoom meetings. All right, have a great day, everyone.